New this morning, Arlington County's fire and police departments and the Virginia Hospital Center are all teaming up to create a unique response plan to save more lives in the event of a mass casualty incident. WDVM's Keanu Deitch tells us now how this new response plan is the first of its kind in the U.S. She joins us live with more. Good morning, Kiana. Yeah, good morning, guys. So this plan was started by Arlington County's High Threat Response Team, which is comprised of members of the police and fire departments, and it was made to eliminate overcrowded emergency rooms. Take a look. In the latest attack to rock the nation, one woman was fatally shot and three others were injured inside a synagogue near San Diego. This and countless other incidents have led to increased safety efforts across the country. Research has shown that about 65 to 75 percent of patients self-present to emergency departments and they go to the closest emergency department from the site. And so learning from those uh, incidents around the country, we determined that we would need to be prepared to uh, receive a large amount of patients in a short period of time. In Arlington County, a new response plan is underway between first responders and the Virginia Hospital Center to save more lives in the event of such incidents. It started with evaluations of uh, nationwide man-made mass casualty events, whether that's an active shooter, vehicle ramming attack. They're calling it the Hospital Response Task Force and it's a comprehensive plan to address the influx of patients seen in an emergency department after mass events take place. Statistics indicate that the hospitals closest to that incident scene quickly become overwhelmed with patients. The new plan, believed to be the first of its kind in the nation, also includes law enforcement to protect against secondary threats to the hospital. From the fire department's perspective, it is sending resources to the closest appropriate medical facility to provide life-saving, stabilizing care, and then eventually to transport patients further away from the impact area to subsequent hospitals. While specifics on the plan will not be revealed for security reasons, paramedics, law enforcement, and hospital staff will work hand in hand to provide rapid treatment and protection for incoming victims. We'll send suppression equipment, which are your, your fire engines, your ladder trucks, your rescue companies, and they all carry with them basic life-saving equipment that's utilized to provide stabilization uh, in a, in a life-saving uh, capacity. And that plan will be fully integrated into Arlington County's emergency response operations starting today. Reporting in the newsroom, Kiana Deitches, WDVM 25. Thanks, Kiana. Organizers say the response task force was created back in June of 2018.